Game On tackles the NFL and the big issues with a former Viking and Bachelor star. A swarm defender in the house talking the team's strong season. Rocker Chris Hockey is back with the Rocket Club and sports. And we told you the fighter was going to be an award-winning movie. Another star-studded look with Hank on Hollywood. It's all ahead. It's Game On. When it comes to all the labor, the only thing you're thinking is that rookies make too much money. Yeah, rookies yeah. definitely make too much money. What? A Pro Bowl player should uh, make way more than a guy that has never played a, a minute in the game. Good to have the fans' perspective. Great to be home. Great to be with you again. This is Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. I'm Rod Simons. Delighted after two weeks of spring training with the Minnesota Twins. Love what the Twins look like right now. They'll open on the road. Can't come fast enough for all of us, uh, especially with spring. Uh, but they will be home on April 8th against the Oakland A's at Target Field. Can't wait for that to happen. Today, we're going to get around the horn. we got a lot of issues to talk about, a lot of people to get inside out so let's get right to it this is game on by the numbers and when we talk about the teams around us the wolves continue to push toward that 20 win plateau that threshold if you will they want to get over that the wild run for the postseason continues the swarm are in a mid-season scheduling lull we'll talk about that and the nfl draft is coming up that's april 28th in new york city and we lead off game on, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill, with the pride of Gustavus, former Viking wide receiver, played in the UFL last year. And you ladies out there might know him from The Bachelor. You hunk you. Brian Hogue is in the house. How you doing? I'm doing well, Rack. Good Thanks to see you. Having me. Thanks for being here. Now, we'll talk football in just a minute. All the women looking around want to know uh, if you're still available bachelor <laughs> well there's no ring on my finger yet yeah. um i'm happily in a relationship right now yeah. but uh you know there was uh quite a bit of popularity that came from that show in uh the bachelorette you know two years ago when i was on it and has it been two years already yeah you know time oh flies and uh but you know i'm kind of glad that part of my life's over with to be honest with you how believable behind the scenes is all that stuff let me tell you it's not reality it's scripted it's uh you know it's really a circus and and it's not something that I would recommend my friends to do. Oddly enough, you probably you stay in touch with a few of the, the cast members. Yeah, and you know that was one of the things I wasn't prepared for. Uh, you know, I I wasn't sure how it would go with yeah. with the girl, but the relationships you build with the guys. I mean, you're with them and you have no cell phone, no internet access. They take your no, cell phone away. They take your cell phone. They don't allow books, magazines, nothing. You have to interact with the gentleman wow. for the entire day, and most of the time she's out with other guys. So you, you get along with the guys pretty well. Okay, okay, ladies, now you have your bachelor fix. It's good information. In between all of this, you've still been playing football. Last in the UFL last year, which had a very successful run, is back this year. Uh, are you done yet? Well, you know, you never say never. And, you know, I've had a great eight-year run. Um, been blessed to play for five different team, NFL teams, uh, you know, four different leagues, NFL Europe, Arena, uh, Canadian, and NFL. And, uh, you know, I always keep that door cracked. And, I, you know, I, I continue to keep myself in shape. The phone's still... Uh it's still hot. Yeah, if you need a wide receiver, you know who to call. Very nice. Ryan Hogue is with us. Don't forget, we'll have more coming up in just a second. Go to our website at GameOnTVMN.com for all the latest. We got Brandon on baseball, the boss on MMA, Holt on hockey, Shockers Locker. We're talking Vikings, updating you on the labor issue. We also link you to all our partners, PurplePride.org and more. Check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. More with Ryan and the rest of the guys next on Game On. Get ready to enter the hive. Rule number one, always wear a helmet. Rule number two, don't blink. Swarm lacrosse returns to the XL Energy Center. For tickets, call 1-888-MN-SWARM or visit mnswarm.com. Hi friends, the mission is simple at the Minnesota Real Estate Team. Help buyers and sellers reach their goals. Your needs are handled by a professional team with years of vital experience. They know the Twin Cities and they work on your timeline with no pressure. So get answers, they're your local real estate team. 
Everything that goes into a Lennox system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox. Innovation never felt so good. When it comes to all the labor conversation, you do think the players make too much money. When I look at what the president of the United States makes and I look at an NFL player, a baseball player, that it's, it's astonishing to me that they make more money and that they're not happy with that, doing a game hopefully they love. More fan reaction, the labor issue is a big deal. Game on, powered by the courtside barn grill, Rod Simons with Ryan Hogue. Delighted you're with us on this Sunday. The labor issue. One of the things that you and I talked about was perception. And I don't know what the number is, but if you go up to a handful of people on the street, and you and I both agree on this, one of the things that many of us think is that the players are somewhat greedy. They know that the owners, there's greed in there because they're making gazillion dollars. But does that bug you that players are perceived, being a player, that players are perceived as greedy? You know, Rod, that was the one thing I was really surprised to ch completely kind of have a 180 uh, yeah. turn because, you know, I grew up a diehard Viking fan, and when a player would hold out, it just didn't make sense. Well, once I got into the NFL and realized, you know, after that, especially in the Oakland Raiders organization, my, my rookie year, you realize real quick that you're strictly a commodity to them. It's what have you done for me, and are you going to help me keep my job? Are you going to make our team money? And when you realize that and realize what it what the game of football does to your body and the lack of long-term benefits and, and this and that, you, you start to recognize why players you know, have the feelings they do and, and, and want to get paid their fair amount at that time because there's so much money that goes obviously into professional football and when, when the owners are acting in such a way that they you know, hoard the money and, and keep it you, know, you you recognize why a guy like Donovan McNabb yeah. would leave, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles and go to a, a rival, and there's just there's there's not a lot of, you know, loyalty. Loyalty, yeah. exactly right. This is going to get settled. Are there going to be hard feelings at some point with uh, with this issue? Absolutely. I, I think uh, I think at the end of the day, neither group is going to be happy with with what happens. But I I think you know if they're smart, both sides will figure that out. Yeah. Keep us posted. Good luck. Keep the uh, UFL open and. Uh, We'll check on you down the road. Hey, Rod, thanks. Ryan Hogue is in the house. Great to have you with us. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems. And who's hot? It's Kevin Love. The streak is Love's consecutive double-double streak that we're talking about. The longest streak of consecutive double-double since the NBA-ABA merger in 76. Now, Love is only one of nine players in the NBA history to have posted a double-double streak of 50 games. The others, you know the names, Abdul-Jabbar, Baylor, Chamberlain, Hayes, Lucas Malone, Bill Russell. Impressive, Kevin Love is hot. And cold, it's Charlie Sheen. Everywhere you look, he is there. TV, newspapers, and at games. Players are having fun with this overhyped and now ex-star of CBS TV show Two and a Half Men. They're talking about him in games and practices enough already. Cold is Charlie. Friend him and check him out on Facebook. It's Liberty Comfort Systems. They who bring us who's hot and who's cold. And great to have this Swarm Defender back with us on Game On. Joe Sanoski in the house, the pride of Maryland. Good to have you here. How are we doing? You're doing great. How are you? Not too bad. You know, I was going to say hot and cold should have included the Swarm, but you kind of scoffed at me. You're, you guys aren't where you want to be, but uh, the season is going well so far. Absolutely, yeah. We're, we're coming back on the hot side, that's for sure. I, with two wins in uh, Colorado, the big. Last one was an overtime win, so we're, we're up on the hot side now. We're going to show folks the calendar a little bit later, but you have a strange scheduling lull here that gives you 
you almost two weeks off. It's nice. It's a good mid-season break here. We'll be able to uh, kind of recover some, some injuries and uh, make sure everyone's healthy coming back into the final stretch of the season. I'll show you the Sonoski file here, a little bit of an update on what the Swarm are doing. They're perfect 5-0 and in division, which is huge come playoff time. You're the team leader, huge defender. You play in the NLL and coaches at all levels, so you are really lacrosse on, at all stages. Host the popular Joe Knows video blog on the Swarm website, and the Swarm will play four of their last seven games at the X. Breaking all that down, the last scheduling situation is big because you guys are going to be tired. You have a lot of games in a short amount of time, and you need the home crowd. Absolutely, and I think you know the, the crowd is the biggest factor, and we need them uh, their support, especially now with our late run in the season. So, yeah. Joe Knows will continue with us in just a second. Don't forget, if you want to join us here, we'd love to have you here at the Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. Be part of this special taping every single Tuesday. We give away autograph balls, tickets from the Swarm and the Timberwolves, free raffle, food and drink specials as well. We'd love to have you. Be part of the game. Check us out at www.gameontvmn.com. So, you're looking for a night out with the guys. Guy stuff. Sports. Beer. Fun. What about catching a Wolves game? The Guys Night Out Package gives you a ticket, beer, hot dog, and a chance to meet the Timberwolves dancers all for just 15 bucks. That sounds like guy stuff. Log on to Timberwolves.com to get your tickets today. Friends, it's time to step into the world of Willie's. It's a great neighborhood bar that has a pub feel. It's a public gathering place for friends and family. They do it all too. Cribbage, darts, they have meat raffles. They have all the big screens to take care of your game watching needs. And best of all, they have a staff that's eager to make it memorable for you. You gotta check it out. It's Willie's off Coon Rapids Boulevard and 610. Walling, Berg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Regardless how it shakes out, owners versus players, you're not on the owner's side. No, I'm not. I think the uh, the owners are in the wrong. I mean, the players are the ones who play for them, and they deserve uh, every cut of the money that that they make. And uh, the owners pocketing it regardless. I think this year, if they play or not, the owners are going to get their money. I don't think that's right. Great to hear from the fans. Thank you, Fan HQ. And back, it's game on. Powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Swarm defender Joe Sinoski in the house. Joe knows the video blog. Tell us about that. It's it's uh, it's fun. It's, it's I get to uh, basically take a camera around with me, um, film the guys behind the scenes. We got a ton of great footage from. Uh, the night before when I'm at practice at the university to travel, to meals before games. Again, great look and uh, inside look behind uh, what uh, lacrosse players have to go through when they travel. It really is a crazy schedule, isn't it? It's pretty tough. I think, you know, some people call us weekend warriors. We have to come in. A lot of guys fly from out of town and, uh, you know, we have an, a two-hour practice the night before and, you know, we throw our pads on and go play against these teams at, uh, you know, probably the best players in the world so yeah it's it's not easy because everybody has other jobs too and a lot of people at home don't know that yeah a lot of people have full-time jobs well you're a coach at uh, on two different levels i coach uh yep college yeah. club college and then uh mounds view over at uh in high school so yeah. i'm also run camps and clinics throughout the week every wow. basically every yeah every day i'm i'm busy i usually don't get home till 11 o'clock so it's a tough schedule Looking at the team, you're perfect in the division, and that's important because last year at this point, you didn't have that luxury. 
Correct. I think I think you know having the West wins is huge, but you know ultimately we want to get to the East and, and be able to play in that championship game and, and compete. So that definitely is something uh, we're looking forward to getting over that hurdle and beating one of those East Coast teams. Is the team at this point situated better than last year for that final push? Absolutely, absolutely. I think we all we have the right pieces, and again, it's just a matter of uh, you know it's the old, like the old saying, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And we're winning some of those games though that are the overtime games, the last minute games. So I think, again, showing a lot more character this season than we did last year. And when you guys come back from this uh, little bit of a long, elongated break, it's going to be on national television. We get Absolutely. Up. Yeah, big one. Sunday. Bring your dogs. Nice. Yeah. Andrew Suter is here with us next week from the Swarm, too. Great to have you with Rod, us. Rod, thank you very much. Joe Sanoski in the house. The pride of Maryland. Check them out at mnswarm.com. And we're also very pleased to announce the return of the Rod Simons Golf for the Gift of Adoption Celebrity Golf Classic. It's June 23rd at Troy Byrne Golf Club. It's a day of outstanding golf, fun, relaxation, and all the monies raised go to help adoptive families through grants created by the Gift of Adoption Fund. Golf for the Gift, June 23rd. Check us out at golfforthegift.com and join us if you can, June 23rd. Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu now has even more tasty ways to get what you want for 99 cents. The all new bacon 99er with thick applewood smoked bacon or the new crispy chicken Caesar wrap with tender all white meat chicken. 99! Now there's nine tasty choices for 99 cents. Hi friends, talking to you about River City Mortgage and it's no secret, today's home buyer needs help navigating and making sense of the right mortgage and finance decisions. Maria at River City Mortgage makes sense of it. She'll help you find the best strategies to fit your financial needs and she'll offer creative options. Maria's goal, a smooth process for you. Find her at maria at rcmortgage.com and you'll see firsthand. In this labor situation, who's at fault, players or owners? Well, either way you look at it, both sides are making tons of money here, and they want to continue to make tons of money. Uh, I think both sides have uh, a say in the whole situation, and I think as long as the fans don't get screwed, you know, hopefully they can make up some kind of uh, deal and get the thing done. Back with Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Happy to have the rocker in a cowboy hat with us. Chris Hockey from Cape Ann Radio. I like you? that description. That's pretty good. Very nice job. Yeah, yeah. The lead singer of Rocket Club. How are things with the best band in the Midwest? Uh, thank you for saying that. I, I can't I can't believe how good they are. We, uh, the, the new record obviously uh, came out last September. We've had three singles on that record, which uh, you're lucky to get one, and to have three was an incredible thing. So we're back in the studio now preparing for the summer of 2011. If we can make it half as good as 2010 was, we'll be way uh, way beyond where we thought we'd ever be. Going to try to play something for you at the end of the show, too. Great. Love holding on. Thank you. Before we continue on the musical front, I have to get in, because most people don't know that you are a gigantic NASCAR fan. Huge. And Jeff Gordon finally wins a few days ago and takes care of business. Yeah, he won in Phoenix, which is a great track for him, but every track used to be a great track for Jeff Gordon. For him to go that kind of drought was unbelievable. To see him win, to see the emotion, his first real win as a father was a great thing for yeah. him. It's good. It's good for NASCAR. It's good that, that Jeff won, that Carl won last week, that you had the kid win at Daytona. Jimmy Johnson's not winning every week. I think it's going to be a good year for NASCAR to see a little variety. We need that. And you've been concerned because NASCAR had a rough two or three years, especially with the downturn in the economy. Absolutely. Obviously, the economy keeps people from going to the racetrack, but also the dominance of, of Jimmy Johnson was kind of a bad thing for NASCAR as well. He's not a popular driver in that people don't hate him and they don't love him. you got to have one or the other. People didn't do it either. He won five times in a row. In Incredible. Someday we'll appreciate that. Right now we're a little bored with it, I think. Behind the scenes with Rocket Club, yeah. you have... I didn't know you like country music as much as you do. Yeah. But you like you like George Strait, you like some Toby Keith, obviously, but you like what band the best? Sugarland's my favorite band, and and when it comes to country anyway, and, and I, I I have a personal story why I uh, I loved them, and then we got a chance to open up for them in uh, Wisconsin. We played uh, a big festival in Eau Claire. We were the first band on the main stage, so we went on like at 1:30, and I waited all day backstage. I figured they was gonna they were gonna call the cops because I was waiting backstage 
Challenge all day to meet Jennifer Nettles. But uh, she came out of her trailer, came over, we took a picture together, and I introduced myself, said who I was. She had listened to our entire set. She remembered things I'd said. She remembered a couple of our songs. And then she and Christian pulled me aside, and Christian said, people are going to tell you, you can't make it in this business. Don't ever give up. Isn't that something? I'll never forget it. They didn't have to talk to me at all. They didn't have to listen to the show. So I love their music. Now I love them, and I'm hoping someday to go out on the road with them and uh, spend some time with them. And they came, they had been at this a long, long time, and then they finally hit it big, and now they are gargantuan. They really are, and they're, they're at a point in their careers where they can take chances. This new record is a great record, but it's not necessarily a straight country record. I love that they have so much success and so much confidence they can take chances, and they have. It's a great record. So Rocket Club's mission is to be dominant in the Midwest this summer. That's it. You know, last year we, we, we spent a lot of time in Nashville, all over the country, playing some shows. This year we really want to focus on staying around home and, and bringing what we call our North Country music to the people of the Upper Midwest. So we're playing we're playing We Fest. We're very excited about that. The Day Rascal Flats is, Flats is playing. That's going to be fun. Uh, we're playing some other festivals around here. We're going to play some of the, the bigger uh, town festivals around in Iowa and in Wisconsin and, of course, in Minnesota. So we're really going to do our best to bring North Country and Rocket Club Country to the people. Don't be, don't get too big that you can't come back. I'll never be that. Well, I hope I am that big, but I promise I'll still come back. That's what I'm hoping. We love you, Hawk. Thank you so much. You're the best. Chris Hockey in the house. Don't forget, when you need to move around the metro, call City View White Knight Limousine. These guys know how to get it done. Town cars, limos, SUVs. City View White Knight is safe, reliable, and they'll handle all your needs. Get them at the web, cityviewlimo.com, and friend them at Facebook at City View Limo. Get ready to enter the hive. Rule number one, always wear a helmet. Rule number two, don't blink. Swarm Lacrosse returns to the XL Energy Center. For tickets, call 1-888-MN-SWARM or visit mnswarm.com. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside, from business people to bikers, everyone's going to have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com. And look for the awning just off Maine and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. How to order a pizza. Step one, decide on toppings. And Pizza Man says, remember, cheese is included and only extra cheese is considered a topping. Step two, pick up or delivery. And if you choose delivery, don't forget to tip the delivery person. Step three, call Pizza Man for the TV special. Step four, call Pizza Man in Minoka, home of the heavy toppings. Wallingberg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Wallingberg and Deebly is there. Wallingberg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. It is the Mayak Minute. Great to have the St. Kate's Swimming and Diving Team here. Hi, ladies. Great to have you here. This is Sarah Moody from Centerville. You're a junior diver of the year in the Mayak. Great season. How's it feel? Uh, it feels great. I accomplished all the goals that I had for this year, yeah. and our team did great. And you, when you talk about the team, you guys were very, very excited because you lose two seniors. You bring the bulk of this team back. Yeah, it was great. Um, we broke a lot of team records this year, yeah. a lot of school records individually and as uh, relays. So nice. it was great. And as a coach, this is Coach Erickson. Nice to have you here, Shana. When you look at this team, you got to be excited because you get your team back. Absolutely, absolutely. We had we have 11 of our point scorers um, are coming back out of 17, and so we're, we're really excited. Fifth overall in the Mayak, it was a very competitive season this year. Absolutely, absolutely. Talk about that. Uh, you know, we uh, 
we had high goals, high expectations yeah. from for the, from the get go, and uh, they exceeded everything. Nice. Absolutely, they worked as a team. They were a team from right from the get go, and so how, I think that was. How good is your diver here? She's fantastic. Because <laughs> she's kind of shy. She, <laughs> well, you know what? She is composed and focused. Behind the scenes, some of these ladies, they're all composed and focused, but they do have a good time. St. Kate's <laughs> swimming and diving team. Great to have you ladies here with us. Thank you. Thank you for being here on our MyAC Minute, brought to you by Wallingberg and Deebly. Time now for our Wheels of Thunder week ahead. Wolves are busy. They get the Sacramento Kings on the 20th. There's the Wild against Columbus. The Swarm back in business the 27th against Buffalo. The Twins will open on April 8th against Oakland. Carolina soccer against the Stars, our Minnesota Stars, April 30th. The Lynx on June 5th. Vikings back in training camp on 138 days and counting. Stand up for kids. Don't forget that. April 8th, my golf for the gift, June 23rd. And if you're a Twins fan, don't forget it, Fan HQ on March 20th. Kent Herbeck appears at 1 o'clock. Scott Baker on the 9th of April at 11 a.m. And glad to have John Hank back with us. A couple months ago, you were here telling us that The Fighter was going to be an award-winning movie. Yes. It is. It's out on disc this week. It's all that and more. Well, we came out of the screening room on the Paramount lot thinking the ensemble acting this is unbelievable. Melissa Leo, Best Supporting Actress. That was two weeks ago tonight. And, of course, Kristen Bale, Best Supporting Actor. Both Oscar winners. But it was Mark Wahlberg. Four years he worked on this, and the movie just shines. Mickey Ward is 31 years old. He's here because he needs the money. Look at the size of that guy. He's got 20 pounds on me, Dickie. You don't fight, nobody gets paid. We wanted to shoot the fights like real fights. We hired real boxers, and then we went in and we pounded the crap out of each other. And we did it every day for 10 rounds, and then you know we shot all of the fights in three days. You had to have this happen, because if you didn't, the movie would lose a little credibility. Exactly, exactly. That's why, to me, it was the most important thing. And it was worth the, you know, four and a half years of training to, uh, to get into that kind of shape. You'll make it why. You'll make it why. You know, some wonder, how do you define a sports movie? Well, for the fighter, you go to the cover of Sports Illustrated. There is Christian Bale and Mark Wahlberg. Next week, win-win. Paul Giamatti's best performance since Sideways Wrestling, high school wrestling, drives this movie. Can't wait to see it. John, going to have you Thanks, back. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thanks very much. Want more on the Timberwolves? Go to Timberwolves.com. Check out my blog. It's Simon Says. It's fresh for you every single Thursday. Inside information, Wolves viewpoints, all at your fingertips. It's interactive, so drop me a note, too. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com. Let me know your thoughts. Simon Says, every Thursday at Timberwolves.com. And we always save the best for last. Our closer, Craig Carger, the general manager here at Courtside. What's hot? You know, we have the darts three times a week here at Courtside. We have bingo three nights a week. But we're kind of having a big deal going on here this 30. A yeah, little yeah. thing called St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day. Day. Yeah. We're going to have live music from Acoustic Revolver. And we're going to have some giveaways from our friends at Canvas Tattoo Studios. They're going to give away a free tattoo, two $100 gift Ooh. certificates, $150 gift certificates, nice. and a certificate for a free piercing, which I'm sure you'd like to use. Yeah, I love that. And if you want all that information, Information, courtsideanoka.com. There's pretty little pictures on there, too. Thanks. Not a problem. See you next week. All right, Thank you very much. That's it for us. Don't forget, all our information, gameontvmn.com. We'd love for you to visit the website. And we leave you with a little rocket club on this Sunday. Have a great week. Changed, it's disappeared but still remains.